open the asset editor so you can notice that we have failed to check out a PDA for SketchUp license issue. Now there are multiple ways to fix this issue. The most important step first is to have an active internet connection and also that you're using the latest version of V-Ray and SketchUp. If you do not have an active internet connection, then you would not be able to validate your license. All right, so if it doesn't work, here are a few steps that you can follow. So the first step is to go to your Windows and search for stop chaos license server. So you click on that. And then you can close SketchUp. And then you can search for start chaos license server. And then you can restart SketchUp. So let's restart SketchUp. You can open any template. And you can open any of these buttons here. So let's open asset editor. And you can see that that our V-Ray for SketchUp is working. Now let's go to step two. So you can notice that in the second comment, it's asking us to access the <coughs> local host server on your browser. So you can keep a note of this local host and then type it in your browser. So let's type in local, tap enter. All right, so you can notice that there are no licenses available, which means there is an issue with our chaos license server. Now, in the previous versions of V-Ray, you could go to online licensing and sign out from here and then sign in with the right email, which has a valid license of V-Ray. It can either be a trial license or a purchased license. So in this case, since we do not have the sign out option, what we can do is we can uninstall the chaos license server and then reinstall it. I will share the link to reinstall the license server setup in the description. Also, before you uninstall the server, it's a good idea to close your SketchUp software and then do the installation process. Next, you need to go to this directory in your system and make sure you delete this folder called SSL. So we can shift delete and click on yes. This step is very important because it will restart the activation when you reinstall the software. You will also find the SSL folder under app data, roaming, chaos, VRL service, and the SSL folder here. So make sure to delete that folder. Now go to the link in the description and click on download the license server. It will redirect you to the chaos page where you can sign in and then click on download to download the license server. Once you've downloaded the setup, you can right click on it and run it as an administrator. After which you can accept the agreements and go to advanced. Make sure to add firewall exception so once you click on next you'll get an option to sign in make sure to sign in with the same username and password as your license which contains the license so i'm going to put in my details and then click on activate all right so you can see the installation process has finished successfully and it has been activated so click on finish then let's open sketchup and you can open any of these buttons here. So let's open Asset Editor. As you can see, we made V-Ray for SketchUp work. If you want to check the license details, just go to Extensions, V-Ray, Help, License, and click on the License Server. So now you can see we have an active license to the right email ID. And it is active, which means it is working in the system. All right, so if it still doesn't work, then you can upgrade the software to the latest version. Luckily, in the time of this recording, SketchUp 2023 has been launched, so we can go ahead and install, download and install SketchUp Pro 2023. So let's log in to sketchup.com and go to the download page and click on download.
All right, so when installing SketchUp with the new version, you can also install V-Ray for SketchUp. So you can select V-Ray for SketchUp as well. And then you can click on install. All right, we've done installing SketchUp, which means it's already installed V-Ray for SketchUp as well, because the latest version lets you download V-Ray for SketchUp. It comes in packaged with the SketchUp version. You need to download SketchUp Studio to use V-Ray for SketchUp and the other features. So let's click on finish. And let's fire up SketchUp 2023. Accept the terms and click on continue. All right, so for the first time you open SketchUp, you would need to sign in with the same account that you bought SketchUp or you've used the trial license with. So let's click on sign in. Let's log in with our Gmail. And you can see that we've signed in successfully to SketchUp. So now let's go back to SketchUp. And now you can select the template here. So let's click on a simple meter template. Make sure to accept their terms and conditions for V-Ray for SketchUp as well. And voila. We're live with SketchUp 2023 and to use V-Ray, just go to View Toolbars, scroll down the list and you find V-Ray for SketchUp here as well. So you can switch on all the toolbars. You can also dock these toolbars to the left if you like or on top. And now when you open the Asset Editor, it should work. As you can see, we've made V-Ray Asset Editor work. Now, if you're still stuck with this error, We've created a detailed PDF where we will show you how to troubleshoot this problem. So you can download this PDF in the link in the description. Do not forget to subscribe and like so that this video reaches out to more people. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.